What's up guys? It's Wally. Today we're going to be doing some battles with my Blueberry Prologue team, which includes this Assault Vest Walking Wake. Now, I initially was actually going to show you some of the battles from the Blueberry Prologue earlier today. However, I had a little bit of an issue with uh, with my recording, so unfortunately none of those battles are salvageable. So what we're going to end up doing, and I know I don't have any battles left for the Blueberry Prologue today, but we're going to take it up on the casual ladder, and we're going to do some battles, especially with, again, that Assault Vest Walking Wake. So Walking Wake is one of the new Past Paradox Pokemon that was introduced with Raging Bolt and Gouging Fire. Uh, all three of them look like the uh, legendary beasts from Generation 2, which I think is really awesome. But Walking Wake is really cool because it's one of the only water type Pokemon that thrives on a sun team and that's kind of why we have Whimsicott here with the sunny day because we're going to take advantage of that with Incineroar as well as with Walking Wake. I mean you have moves like Hydro Steam and Flamethrower which are both boosted in the sun and then you also have another great stab move in Draco Meteor. It does also have access to Snarl which is nice because it ends up lowering the special attack of both the Pokemon across the way so especially in this Blueberry Prologue uh, with the Snarl you end up hitting Terrapagos as well as uh, all three of those past Paradox Pokemon, which uh, I believe all three, with the exception, I think, Gouging Fire, uh, are uh, special attackers. So that's going to be extremely nice to be able to limit uh, their power as well. And like I said, with the Hydro Steam and the Flamethrower, if we are in the sun, it ends up getting that boosted power. So that's going to do a lot more damage as well. So I'm really excited to use this Walking Wake because it's a Pokemon that I was actually planning on using uh, like early in Scarlet Violet, back when uh, we actually had the raids for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. Uh, however, since I saw it wasn't going to be allowed in VGC, uh, I didn't bother actually spending the time to train one up. So I'm really glad they ended up doing this prologue uh, just to use the uh, Blueberry Pokedex uh, because now it gives me a chance to actually use the Walking Wake that I caught way back then. So I'm really excited to do some battles, so we will, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just tab and chat, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Well, let's get into the battles. All right, so it looks like we might have some good news because there is a pretty good potential for them to actually set the sun for us if they end up bringing Torkoal. However, they do have another option for their uh, Terra as well, or I'm sorry, for their uh, weather as well, and that's a little unfortunate. So I'm going to start out with Whimsicott just in case they end up going with their uh, Tailwind to start. And I think I'll actually... I'll start with Walking Wake too. Why not? I'll bring Terrapagos. And... I mean, honestly... Hmm. I'm gonna go Rillaboom. Rillaboom at least has a ground move in case uh, we need to use something like that in one of the Steel Mines or a Fire Mine or something like that. Uh, plus, we do have a Fire Terra, so if we do end up having it out there against a, another Fire type or something like that, at least we can uh, end up resisting it rather than being uh, weak against it. We've got Napoleon. Alrighty. Works for me. So... Uh, I'm actually thinking about starting out with the sunny day, but I think we'll we'll go with the tailwind to start. And I'll go for the uh, flamethrower into Whimsicott. Kind of what I was afraid of, too. Um, that's alright. You know what? I'd rather have the tailwind up right now, and if we can knock out... Forgot Sash. Nice crit, though. I like that. And it's unfortunate we couldn't get the burn, you know? Never mind. My bad. All right, there we go. Nice. That's nice because now they don't have a uh, Tailwind to go on. And I was kind of expecting them to go for a... Uh, like a Flash Cannon over into Whimsicott. That's okay, though. That's okay. We're going to be all right here. Uh, we're gonna have to swap out um, Walking Wake, though. Smart call. Yeah, now I see why they went with that. Alright. Um, no, we can't go for the Sunny Day. We're gonna have to go for the Moonblast over to Ninetales. And, um... Let's swap into Terrapagos. 
I think they'll be fine out there. We just can't be put to sleep. We can always swap out uh, when Scott on this next one, just so we can change uh, weather again at some point, but... Sorry, I think it's a pretty safe play right here. Into... Okay, that's not bad. That works for me. Actually, you know, of course they get the Aurora Veil up. It's unfortunate we couldn't change the weather, but what can you do? Ooh, just go and yawn. It's fine. We actually kind of wanted to swap out anyway, so that actually works out for me. Um, if I'm being completely... Hmm, if I'm being completely honest, I'm going to swap into Walking Wave... I'm a little nervous to protect, just in case. No, does, does Nightingale's got Encore? I don't know why, I've been so worried about Encore lately. Um... I'll go for the Terra, and we'll go for the uh, Terra... Uh, uh, Storm thing, you know. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to think about my next move now, too. Uh, we will get the Terra here, obviously. Um, we do have the speed as well, which is really nice, because we know we're going to get a move off here. Um, it's just not going to be great against uh, them. Um, and fully on. This will be alright, though. Oh, I forget that actually stops the, the snow. That's right, I forgot about that. No. Good damage. Even through the, uh, whatchamacallit. I forgot about free dry. No. It's not ideal. Not ideal at all. We're gonna have to thaw out somehow. Wait, this flamethrower, I think it's just flare blitz though. I don't think flamethrower thaws me out though, does it? Well, we're about to find out. Um... Yeah, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna swap into Whimsicott. I don't even know here. Oh, nice! Ninetales is gone. That's good news for us, honestly. Ooh, and into art. Let's go. We have the flamethrower, which we would have done it up there now. A bit of lefties. That's fair. No one's gone. Um, but in all honesty, I don't know if we necessarily need it right now, though. Walking Wake's about to go down anyways. I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor over into our Jaladon. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna... And I'm gonna do the Sunny Day as well, just so we can get the special attack Proto Boost. Yeah. Let's do that. Just do that extra 30%, you know what I mean? It's gonna be pretty important. 
I would think. Nice, that's actually really good damage too. However, their stamina does go up. Oh! Alright! Roost! Oh boy, that's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Um Swap back into Terrapagos. I'm gonna go for the Moonblast over to Arch. Hmm. The good thing is, at least we have Aura Sphere. Way to go, Wins. My dude. Let's go. That's rough, though. Good call on that, though. Good call. Let's go for the Aura Sphere over there, though. Let's go Moon Blast one more time, too. That's fine. They'll take us out. Uh, we should be able to take them out here with a vacuum. Uh, not a vacuum wave. That's what they use. But with a uh, horse here. Let's go. Should be good. But. However, now they're going to be able to get the, uh, the weather back up again. However. However. Let's go Rillaboom here. Because here's the good thing. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I think Rillaboom is the one to end this one, actually. Um, here's what we're going to do. Go for the Terra Star, uh, Star Storm. I am going to have a really hard time saying that. Um, and let's go for the Grassy Glide and the Nine Tails. Figured they would protect. That is unfortunate for us, but we'll be fine. All right, we'll get our Star Storm here, though. That'll be nice. Bet we do. Yep, I know. Protects over there. That's fine, though. They may have to go for a double cut. Well, no. I really, realistically, I don't think they can. Only because they need the, the ice move to be able to take us out. Because there's nothing that Napoleon uh, really necessarily can do. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine here. I honestly, I hate to say it, I think Napoleon's going to be the tough one here. But only because of the uh, kind of bulk they have right now. Um, go for a flamethrower. Hate to do that, but I think that's going to be the strongest move. Only because Hydro Steam is 80. Uh, not very effective, though, but plus stab. So something around like 60. Flamethrower is 90. Draco would probably be the strongest. Well, no, because I think it's resisted. But I don't want to use that yet. Let's do that, and then let's Grassy Glide into Ninetales. Pick up that KO. That's perfect. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I KO Ninetales first uh, before I actually lower the um, special attack on Walking Blade. Decent damage. That's unfortunate. Smart call, but very unfortunate. They're gonna have to protect here. Um. Hey, the Aurora, Aurora Veil is gone. My goodness, I wish I could talk. I 
Draco is going to get resisted, but Draco plus stab. Actually, that would kind of be stronger than 90. Well, the flamethrower, you have the chance to burn. Do that. Let's try to go for a wood hammer. Oh, nice! Cool. Can we get a burn? No. Can we do it with the wood hammer? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, thankfully they didn't have protect there, or else, uh, yeah, we would have had uh, a couple more turns there. But thankfully, thankfully, Rilla is able to hang in there. Uh, and so is Walking Wake. That AV really kind of making a difference with those special attackers. And able to kind of close it out there. Good game. All right, that's that new, uh, what is it, the Petrograns or something like that? Pretty cool. I, I wish I would have been able to save my games from the uh, uh, prologue earlier today, but uh, I had a little issue with it, but... That's okay. That's why we're having fun with these battles now, too. So I think that thing's Poison Ghost, which means ground would be good, but the only real ground we have would be um, Rilla, and that would be tough against uh, Poison. But we do have Dark, and that's always a good possibility, too. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with Farigaraph as well as Walking Wake. In the back, let's end up bringing uh, Incineroar. Hmm. And we're going to go Terrapagos too. That thing hasn't let me down yet. So, well, kind of, but story for another day. Um, but let's see what it can do here. I'm really excited to see if we end up seeing that Petra run going to be pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Um, from what I remember people talking about in chat today, it's got a really cool ability called Poison Puppeteer? Tell me where it confuses them if, if it ends up poisoning them or something like that. Either way, that's cool. Not what I was looking for, though. Um, Prison? That wouldn't be... Uh, that wouldn't be... Uh, I'm sorry, last, last Annihilate I saw I think was a... Uh, Final Gambit one. So that's why I'm a little uh, a little worried here. Um, we'll just go out with it, though. I, I'll trust. I'll trust. Um, I'll go with the Hydro Steam over there. Okay, so it's not, but at least we'll do some good damage. Wow. Nice. That's a little rough. Oh, but thankfully we avoided that, so it looks like the Imprison ain't gonna do anything. I don't know why I was expecting Trick Room and uh, that, but I was gonna be like, I, I don't know what Petra Run's uh, stats are, um, or at least its speed, I should say. Uh, but either way, though, we're, we're, we're fine. We're gonna be all right here. So here's what we do. Um, I'm gonna go expanding force over there. Hmm. Now, you know what? I, I know it seems dumb, but we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna go for the hydro steam. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. I'm gonna go for the expanding force. that over there to break the, uh, break the disguise. We may end up losing walking weight here, but, um, what can you do? 
Oof. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be with that, though. That's all right, though. You can't do much. Oh, okay, I thought th I thought that was going to be a second play roughness in a row. That would have been bad for them. Um, there we go. We end up taking out with the expanding force, thankfully, and we broke the disguise. So, even though we lost Walking Wake there, and it's a big part of our offense, um, yeah, I think that was a successful turn. All in all. Uh-oh. I don't know who it is. Better run. Now, that thing's got an insane defense, doesn't it? Right, let's go for the expanding force over there. And we could go for the knockoff, too. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll double over there. We have two things that are going to be super effective. Unfortunately, now we're going to be confused. Uh, and that's going to be really bad. Um, we're poisoned, of course, too. But we're also confused. Um, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, we tanked that. Can we KO it here? Good damage, though. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nice. Okay, good. That could have been bad. Uh, we are still confused, unfortunately, but we're going to be all right, though. Who's Black Slug? Okay, cool. I'm glad we got rid of it, then, because that might have stuck around for a bit. And Linden. Ah, cool. Dope. That's okay. Their disguise is still broken, and that's the main thing. They have yet to terrestrialize, so that may be their Terra over there. Go expanding force as well as uh, knockoff over there as well. We'll knock off their item, and we'll also um, yeah, we'll do some we'll do some good damage here. Yeah, again, that might be their Terra though. Obviously it is, but that's okay. Fire? Water? Dragon! Okay, well, we can actually go for a Dazzling Gleam on the next one, then. And we also have Ice Beam, too. Fine, we're gonna tank that. Oh, but the attack drop is bad. Well, maybe we should set Trick Room. Nah, except for Tarapa Ghost would... would actually be faster, then. So that would be a downside, but... Okay, all right. We'll still do some good damage here, though. Not bad. We'll hopefully knock off their item. I hope. Nope, not this time. The good thing is we did drop our attack. And I, I know that never sounds good, but... Um, at the very least... Um, at the very least, that's not doing as much damage from the confusion. You know? Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna go Flare Blitz over there. Way to go, buddy. Alright, we can hang in there. Wow, that's rough. <sighs> okay. Um, sorry, this still ain't out of reach, though. That's the main thing. I wish we would have been able to get the move on the last turn, but that's okay. We're gonna be alright here. Just gotta hope that we don't hurt ourselves in confusion. Thank you. Good damage. All things considered. Minus one? Not bad. And we get the burn, and that's actually really huge, too. That's gonna limit their damage. Yeah, we end up losing them on the next turn, though. That's gonna be the downside. Go to Rapagos. Man, this thing was really difficult to take down today, in all honesty. Let's go. Let's do our Terra. Oh, we can actually go for the Terra Star Storm, so let's do that. I'm gonna try to go for the knockoff, too. We can do some good damage. I forget that because they're terrestrialized, super effective. That's really cool. 
Tough to deal with, don't get me wrong, when you're when you're going against it, but great when you're using it. So we'll see how much this actually does. Can we do go first? That's good news. Alrighty then. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know how much that would have done if it uh, wasn't going to be super effective against them, but hey, you know what? Now we don't have to figure out if we're fully confused or not. So, there we go! Glad Terapagos was able to come in and just kind of pick up the victory. The game. Ooh, the fact that I'm seeing Trico here uh, really kind of worries me a little bit. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw a strategy recently. Does Trico get upper hand? Because if so... No, it wasn't that. I think it's something with the time pass, though. No, maybe I'm... I, you know what? I'll just figure it out when we get in the game. How about that? So let's go Whimsicott as well as... As well as Walking Wake, too. Why not? Hmm... No. We're gonna go Whimsicott, and we're gonna go with, um... No, we're not. No. We're gonna go Whimsicott, we're gonna go Walking Wake. If that's what they go out with, I think we're just gonna swap into, uh, for Rigoraf. And then again, Terrapagos is just so... Just too good to not bring. But I also feel like we should bring Rilla. I feel like bringing Terrapagos is kind of a cheat code at this point. At least right now. So, let's go with these guys. Plus, again, I think the grass is going to be really good. Obviously, again, Suicune uh, for Alligator. Um, and then, of course, we have the ground as well. That's going to help, too. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, we'll be good. Nice and bored. Let's see, what you gonna leave with? Corner for alligator, fair. That's good. We're gonna go, uh, um, gonna go Tailwind as well. I'm gonna go, uh, go Hydro Steam over to Tornadus. Although, doesn't for alligator get Dragon Dance? I think is pretty interesting. Eh, either way. Let's figure this out here. Ooh, they're gonna terrestrialize. Nice. Into... Ooh, into Dragon. Nice. I hope that's not Terra Blast. Although, again, I think they do get Dragon Dance, so... Get our Tailwind. They'll get Airs. I would imagine. No, they're not. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that's still a good amount of damage, though. Wow, and breaking swipe. There. Yeah, it's some really big damage, too. Holy cow. I'm impressed. All right. Let's go for Rigoraf now. We can go into a uh, Psychic, or not Psychic, uh, Fairy Terra, and go with a, um, you know. Moon Moonblast, it's Terra, let's go Dazzling Gleam. Uh, they're going to be able to get their Tailwind up on this one, though. But again, we do have a Fairy move, two Fairy moves going into for Alligator. Into someone else now. Into Suicune. Okay, that's gonna be tough. Uh, again, though, we do have. Um, uh, yeah, we do have Rillaboom in the back. That's gonna be a big help. Uh, that's gonna help really take care of Suicune, especially with like a uh, wood hammer. Ooh, brain dance. Nice. It's not great. 
Not bad though. Not bad actually. That all things considered, that's pretty damn good. And they got lefties, of course. Um, I would imagine they're doing that for the water move over there as well as the 100% bleak wind storm. Uh, so let's go sunny day. And let's go dazzling gleam yet again. Let's weaken their water and let's also uh, bring that bleak wind storm back down to back down to 80. That's absolutely insane, you know. Let's see. Get the sunny day. That's beautiful. They have to get their tailwind, so thankfully, I think we knocked them out then. Nice. And they would also lose their chance to set the, set the rain. There we go. Goodbye now. So we took away their water power, which is really, really good for us. Um, however, now we both do have tailwind up. I think we only have it for one more, so we need to be smart about. All right. Um, go for in the back. That's gonna be good again. Um, Moonblast. Dazzling gleam again. Ooh, I'm glad they don't know about Armor Tail. Let's go. Good for us. Good damage. Nice. I was afraid that was going to KO. Oh, let's go for Rigoraf. Knocks out Smeargle. So no fake out for them and no spore or whatever whatever else they wanted to put on. It's gone. It's done though. So let's go. We're going to be able to set Tailwind again. It's going to be real nice. Be able to keep going with a um, dazzling gleam. Let's tailwind. Let's dazzle. And let's hope that we can bring for alligator down to at least like half or something. You know, that would be ideal. Get our tailwind. They still go first though. I think the sweet food especially. Oh, them too. Trying to freeze me. How rude. Not that you'd necessarily be able to, because, you know. That's alright, though. Let's go. We get the rage quit. And, yeah, we would have pulled a, uh, would have been able to pull a KO on the next one, because then we would have been able to, uh, go with the, uh, Moonblast around for Alligator, and they would have only gotten an Ice Beam first. So, there we go. Let's go, that's what I'm talking about, good game. So even though we didn't get a chance to see Terrapicos in any of those battles, I think you guys can see how great Walking Wake is, especially with the Assault Vest. And when you have access to moves like the Hydro Steam and the Flamethrower, which are really great in the sun, uh, and then the Draco Meter, which is another great stab move, and then Snarl, which is another great support move to be able to lower the special attack, I think it makes for a really great Pokemon on any team. I mean, obviously, Raging Bolt and um, Gouging Fire and everything like that are really incredible too, but definitely don't overlook Walking Wake. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.